Hello, and welcome to the course on how to search for reliable public domain content. When you are shopping for antiques, the older it is, the more valuable it usually is. However, when you are searching for public domain works, it isn't necessarily how old it is that adds value to it, how difficult the work is to find or obtain that adds value. This doesn't mean that you can't profit from public domain works that are easy to find. It just means that you will profit more from that which is hard to find. Everybody knows that we all want and are willing to pay for well for those things that which you cannot easily get. So in this session, you will learn where to find reliable public domain books that you can freely utilize and convert for commercial gains. One of the great resources to find books which are in the public domain is at abooks.com. Suppose you are looking for books about the craft of toll painting. Toll painting is a folk art of painting and decorative designs on tin or other metal objects. It was very popular a few years ago, and recently it is gaining its popularity back again. Search with the keyword phrase, toll painting, into the public domain websites. Also, enter the date range 1800 to 1922 in the published date. The reason you enter a date range here is because, if the book was published before 1923, it is definitely within the public domain, and hence no copyright search is required to see if the work was renewed or not. There are many websites on the internet where you can find good books free of charge. Here are a few such sites. The Naked Word. It's another good site with a huge number of free books like Tom Swift from 1910. ProjectGutenberg.org. Thousands of novels, nonfiction works, and other writings all in the public domain. This is one of the most famous websites on the internet. The English Server. It claims to have over 29,000 works on public domain. Digital Library. It belongs to the University of Pennsylvania. Plenty of public domain books and links are available. Blackmass.com, a rapidly growing source of public domain. Bibliomania, it contains approximately 80 public domain novels. Authorama, it has public domain books easily readable in HTML format. Wovio, it contains public domain, free legitimate copyrighted materials, and one of the only with a selection of comic books. Finding public domain films, while you may not plan on becoming a famous movie director, but you can still have a use for public domain films, broadcasts, commercials, and sound bites. These can be used on websites or to create CDs or DVDs that you can sell. There are many websites on the internet where you can find good films free of charge. Here are a few such sites. www.openflix.com Resources for public domain movies and licensed material. MoviesFoundOnline.com includes free public domain movies that has fallen out of its copyright. PublicDomainFlix.com offers downloads of full-length movies that are in public domain. FESFilms.com selling public domain films since 1976. Festival Films offers the largest selections in the world. PDMDB.org that has a great list of public domain movies, well organized. DesertIslandFilms.com Database for a specific film title and listing of all our public domain titles. Movies Found Online. It is a free website where you can watch public domain movies and documentaries. Buyoutfootage.com. Public domain films and royalty-free stock footage collections. While these are excellent sources for finding public domain films, it is important to realize that you must purchase the work from most of these sources. With the exception of the public domain works found at archive.org. However, the fee is going to be well worth it depending on what you intend to do with the film that you want. There are various ways that you can use old film, broadcast, and commercials for financial gain. You may want to use the entire work or just parts of it for your product. You could even make a collection of old commercials for an informative marketing course. Again, you need to be aware of the format that the film you want is delivered in and make sure that you have the appropriate software or equipment to manipulate the film to turn it into the product that you want it to be. If editing it, <coughs> editing it is what you have in mind, or to transfer it to the medium that you want it to be on, if you just want to change the delivery format. For instance, you may want to change something that is on videotape to DVD. Public domain images. You can use all public domain images freely for personal and commercial use. In public domain sites, you can find top quality images with high resolution. These photos can be found in the following sites. 
for free photos, offers quite a few artistic and high quality images. Many of these will be great for backgrounds, supporting units, transportation, food, landforms, geography, art, aircraft, plants, penguins, spring, etc. Karen Wimsey Public Domain Images A phenomenal public domain gem of clip art, diagram, sketches, and more for the classroom. Supporting units, ancient civilizations, world religions, musical instruments, art, silhouettes, vintage fashion, fairy tales, folk tales, Native Americans, explorers, civil war, geography, food, alphabet, Spanish, art, architecture, Shakespeare, plants, holidays. Photos 8. Another popular public domain images site. The images are high quality, high resolution, and offer an artistic approach. You can use many of these for backgrounds in Blogsters and PowerPoint. Supporting units, geography, landforms, world religions, art, food, insects, plants, and grammar. Using images to represent parts of speech. Pics for learning. This is a great website full of photographs donated by amateur photographers and teachers to help us improve our curriculum. Supporting units, biomes, animals, art, food, world religions, fractals, holidays, space, landforms, geography, Native Americans, colonial America, civil war, ancient civilizations, mythology, presidents, World War I and World War II. Public domain photos. This site offers a vast collection of clip art images and high resolution photos. Supporting units, geography, landforms, U.S. regions, flags from around the world, animals, space, ocean, plants, insects, food, vehicles, deserts. Uncle Sam's Photos. This is a nice directory listing of more of the U.S. government's repositories of free-to-use photos. Backgrounds Archive. A great good collection of public domain photos. Morgue Files. It refers to the name that newspapers gave to the storage area where they kept files, old stories, photos, etc. In any case, this site offers some really nice photos. Public Domain Music Below is a list of sites where you can find very good music and even songs in public domain, which you can use for personal use or commercial pro promotion purpose. Must Open It offers free mp3 files of classical, instrumental, and vocal music. Definitely bookmark this one. Supporting units, music, composers, history, and background sounds for multimedia projects. Public domain for you. This is full of vintage recordings. Supporting units, jazz, blues, country, folk songs, World War I. Sound J. It has become very popular in our district this spring for our video and podcast projects. With a well-designed layout and excellent choices of sound and music, you can't go wrong. Supporting units, weather, business, FAC, S, and backgrounds for podcast projects. Sound goal. This site has an amazing amount of sound effects for student projects. These save as WAV files, which work great in most audio and video software such as Windows, Media, Windows Movie Maker, iMovie, Audacity, and GarageBand. Supporting units, weather, emotions, and dance, animals, water, and special effects sounds for podcasts. Coming to the end of this module, you have just been exposed to a huge library of where you can obtain public domain that can be freely used for your personal or commercial gains. While there are a lot of sites out there, it can be overwhelming. All in all, remember that before you start your search for public domain works that you can use to create products, you need to have a clear objective in mind. In other words, just knowing that you want to use a public domain work to create your own product isn't enough. You need to know what type of work it is that you want to create and what public domain work will fill your need. Once you know that there is a market for your idea, the next step is to determine how you want to deliver your product and in which format. Will it be a physical product such as a DVD, a CD or a printed book or manual? Will it be a digital product such as an ebook? You need to determine this because the format that the public domain work you choose may matter a great deal to you. Determine exactly what kind of content you're looking for, only then shortlist the public domain sites. From there, you will be more organized and you will easily find the public domains you can use for profits.